first i've never seen a closet this big in a hotel room i mean what the hell full size mirror look at all this space have you ever seen a closet this insane in a hotel room i mean like you have a safe of course a nice umbrella right here I mean, look at this thing, bro. What is this? All right, so if you do come over here, you actually have this cabinet right here and check out what you have. All your snacks right here, all this Evian water. You have coffee, coffee cups. You have wine, espresso machine. I mean, this is, bro, this is insane. Look at everything you have here. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and have one Evian water. I'm thirsty. Cheers to a great day. Oh, that's good. I really appreciate this. All right, so something I do really love about this hotel room is actually these two couches, kind of half couches you have here. So you can sit down, relax, and you have this really solid table right here, which you can work, you can eat your breakfast, drink your coffee, whatever you like to do. This is perfect for it. These pillows really make it a lot more comfortable. Even without the pillows, it's still comfortable, but you know, it just adds a nice layer of comfort for you. So this is something that's dope, especially the painting up here. I just love how aesthetically ple pleasing this area looks. If we come over here, we have this really nice bed. I mean, this bed is massive. Look at the size of this thing. So many nice pillows. You do get a laundry bag uh, actually right here. I really like that. It's great detail. Uh, TV remote, obviously the access to TV, which we will do later. You have a magazine and then you do get, oh, you can fill, fill this out for the laundry and whatever else you need. Dress to impress. I like that. So this bed is just stunning all right now check out what you have here if you open this right here you do have your mini fridge which you can get assortment of drinks whatever you'd like i can't drink the al alcoholic beverages but you do have that if you like to drink alcohol you have champagne down there not sure what this is we have some tonic water very nice you have red red bull sprite can't get a dry whatever you'd like is all for access here I really do like that. All right, and now for the bathroom, look at this. You have this amazing sink right here. And I just wanna say these amenities are amazing. You have everything you need, soap, towels, cotton, everything, cups, hand soap. I mean, this is just fantastic body lotion. This is a really, really nice setup. You have a hair dryer here. And if you come in the shower, you have all your conditioner, shampoo, body soap, everything. Nice bathtub, nice sh shower head, three towels here, nice toilet. And this is actually my view. As you can see, it is raining in San Francisco. So we don't have the best view of the city, but still, I mean, I got upgraded and this view is amazing. Even when it's raining, you can see, ooh, look at that cloud cover there. That's crazy. And then down here you have a heater. It's like blasting heat, it's super hot here. Look at how crazy the rain is. Oh my God, I've never seen, oh my God. This is insane, bro. So now over here, you do have your actual desk where you can legitimately work. Super large space. You have this pad right here. You can write down whatever you'd like. Your phone over here. So you can call the front desk or whoever you'd like to contact, room service. And then you do also have this super cool tablet right here that controls the entire room. I think this is awesome. You can check out what there is to do. You can check out the weather. This thing right here is dope. I've really seen that in hotels, so I really like this awesome after exploring the hotel room and showing you guys all the amenities that the room actually has to offer i think it's only time to now go ahead and explore around the hotel inside the hotel what they actually have to offer outside of the rooms however the rain is very heavy and the weather is awful but that is not going to stop me so without further ado we're going to go explore let's go Before I get distracted with that view all night long, I had to pull myself away to do that, by the way. We're gonna go explore the hotel. Let me put on my jacket because it is freezing outside and it's raining. But look at these Yeezys, bro. They literally, I ripped them. <sighs> Adidas. Kidding. All right, let's grab our hotel room key and let's hit the hit the streets. Now, I'm not gonna go too far because San Francisco, a little sketch, but we're just gonna go see what we can get up to. <laughs> let's go. All right, so I made it to this rooftop garden here. It's freaking pouring rain, but I'm risking it for you guys. Just kidding, what water won't do anything to me. But check it out, this is really nice. <clears throat> There's like a ballroom here or something. There's a roof here at least so I can get in shade, but this is really good for when it's sunny out. You can sit down in these nice chairs, look at the fountains, relax. That's like a suite up there, okay? Not that, but it's okay. If you come over here, look at this view of the skyline right here. Salesforce Tower. Ooh, nice view right down there of the streets. It's fortunately really bad weather, but you have the obey over there. Okay, I'll actually just show you some of the benches here because it's not raining crazy right now. You can sit here, 
I guess they took off the pillows. They, they're usually pillows here because I was here a couple weeks ago and they had pillows out. So I really, really recommend this. The hallways in this hotel are so nice. I mean, look at this. The design is, is really, really nice. And you have this right here. Oh, you have a restaurant there with the bar. Lots of alcohol, which I'll not be drinking, unfortunately. Looks very nice. Maybe we'll, I'll eat there later. But uh, yeah, so check this out. You come here. This is the Venetian room. Nice de decorations out here. That's for the spa, okay. Alright, so as you guys saw, that was a li little tour of the hotel. Honestly, this is a really, really nice hotel. As you saw, they have lo a lot of shops you can purchase things. Just the way that the hallways are decorated with all the paintings and the pictures and all the history that the hotel has. So since we're going to eat dinner in like two hours, I'm going to take a shower and check out how nice the shower is. So let's go take one. First, got to take out my shirt. Should I show you guys? I don't know. That's all I get to see, right? The rest of it is all my only fans. Kidding. Okay, anyway. As you can see, my hair is uh, slightly wet here, and I'm wearing a towel because, you know, I'm in a hotel, Fairmont. Anyway, I did request two bathrobes because, you know, I love bathrobes. To the right of me, I do have my Fever Tree Club Soda Premium. You know how we do it out here, exclusive water only. I don't know how this tastes, but we'll check it out later. I'm going to use the hair dryer, and I will just like to get it fully dry here. I don't really use hair dryers, so we wish me luck. Okay, see, I only just needed to do it for a tiny bit. All right, so I did also go ahead and make a reservation at the restaurant at 8 p.m. Check it out, guys. I can just come here and sit and just look at the sky. And I don't know why it keeps getting foggy. So you know what I did to combat this? Check check this out. Oh, let me get it real quick. It's just I got a towel. I'm a window cleaner now, all right? This is my job. Unrestricted view of the city. I can't wait till tomorrow. It's going to be sunny in the day in the morning. So we're going to show you guys what it looks like in the day. I bet it's amazing, especially with the blue sky. No more rain. Goodbye, rain. I'm no tell. That, that's my little victory dance we're doing in the hotel. Watch this. Only a bit, though. So you can get some fresh air in here if you need to. Oh, it looks so nice if you just look outside. Like if you peek your head out, obviously the camera probably can't do that. If I moved it, it could, but the fresh San Franciscoian air. Anyway, you have these blinds here also closed. So when you're sleeping, you know, you can, you don't got to wake up and the sun's like in your room and you're like, what's going on here? All right. So as we wait here for our dinner reservations, I want to kind of go over the history of the hotel because this hotel actually has so much history, probably the most history out of any hotel in San Francisco. It is a really, really interesting story. All right. So the Fairmont Hotel actually dates back to as early as 1903 when the two sisters by the name of Teresa Fair and Virginia Fair, when they actually want to build a spectacular boutique hotel in the heart of Knob Hill, San Francisco. They actually want to dedicate this to their father. Fortunately, a few weeks later in 1906, when the building debuted, earthquake struck, destroying the bit building and most of the city of San Francisco. Following the destruction of the hotel, the two sisters actually hired an architect by the name of Julia Morgan, who actually rebuilt the entire structure. And exactly one year after the earthquake, the building did reopen and it would soon become the social hub of the city. Now, of course, the economic stagnation of the Great Depression did actually drag this hotel into being neglect. But once again, the Fairmont did rise from the ashes. And also, this hotel did transfer ownership multiple times for several, several years until the early 1930s. And actually, at the end of World, World War II, two events served to transform this business. One was the International Conference, which actually led to the birth of the United Nations, which is crazy to me to think that. And the second one was this hotel being purchased by Benjamin Swig. So actually, under Swig's watch, the Fairmont went through a cultural renaissance and it quickly became the desired spot for celebrities and even U.S. Pre presidents, which as we saw, Bill Clinton did visit the Fairmont. Crazy to me that this is such a historic hotel. Now, I'm going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Just kidding. 
but right now it's like 7 10 i think we're gonna do a bed test right now because i haven't done that yet so before we go to dinner let's do that all right so this obviously does not do do it justice but this is my first time hopping on this bed so let's see ready oh dude that is a nice bed i love hotel beds like it just smells like smell they just smell so good too like it's not like i'm in emirates first but oh it's so nice okay so bed is 10 out of 10 comfort that is a comfortable bed and the size of it i on camera doesn't do justice trust me this is a large bed look i can go from one side to the other isn't that crazy oh my god so i was playing around with the ipad here and i actually found the menu for the restaurant i'm going to tonight i know what i'm gonna get check it out i think i'm gonna get the olives because olives are really good i'm gonna get this pasta right here the arugula pine nut pesto rigatoni that seems fire but this is the menu so we can already pre-look at it vermont cheeseburger i don't really eat meat i'm gonna be honest so chicken uh fish and then here are your appetizers starters sorry and you have a cheese platter so that's what i'm gonna get all right guys so it's time for me to go eat dinner and i'm actually gonna change into some real attire so i can look nice presentable and I can have a nice meal at the restaurant downstairs. So I'll be right back and it's time to change. Let's go. Okay, and just like that, I'm changing to my outfit. How do you guys like it? Got a cashmere sweater on, some ripped jeans. These don't look the best, but uh, the only ones I brought. So kind of got to deal with what I have. And now it's time to put on the shoes. Of course, the destroyed Yeezys and go eat some dinner. Let's go. All right, check it out. So I made it to the restaurant here, as you can see. It's pretty empty, but it, it is a very, very nice restaurant. I love the design, and I'm about to get my first course here. My only course, actually, which is this gluten-free vegan ravioli. Honestly, it was really, really bad. I would just recommend to go eat somewhere else in the city for a better price. It was just overpriced. I'll talk more about it later, but for now, I'm going to go back to the room and enjoy some tea. All right, check this out, guys. I did end up getting the tea service here, of course. It looks very good. I also added a little can of dry on the side. This is mint tea, I think. We have the package right here, some honey, lemon, two cups, and the water. So we're going to indulge now. <sighs> Get some of this tea out here. Okay, oh, it's caffeine-free, so I won't be jo jumping on the walls. And enjoy some of our tea. Let's go. So let's see how this... Pour the water. Perfect. Oh, yeah, we're getting the premium service here. And we have our honey, of course. We gotta add some. I mean, come on. Who do you think I am? Drop some in there. Okay. Take our hopefully clean spoon. I don't know if the spoons are clean here. Mix up the tea. Now we drink. Cheers. I've just burnt burn my tongue, but that is very good tea. I like the setup here. We can probably add some little lemon too if we want. It'll, it'll drop there and yeah now i'm gonna chill you know, enjoy my tea service i watch some of the nice tv up there so i'll catch you guys in a bit all right guys so it is time for me to go to bed now it's pretty late and i want to catch some sleep in this super comfortable bed so don't worry i'm not gonna sleep with the shirt on okay i'm gonna sleep without a shirt but let's get into some super comfortable bed and ready for our sleep Hopefully our beauty sleep. I'm kidding, that's weird. We're going to take this off. And I'll put it right there. Now, let's pull back the sheets. Ooh. You see me in my bed? I'm chilling. Ready for you to come. No, I'm kidding. All right, anyway, put this covers over me. Oh, dude, this is, this is so comfortable. What the hell? All right, it's time to turn off the lights and head off to bed. So... I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Have a good one. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night. All right, good morning, everybody, from my hotel room in the Fairmont, San Francisco. I've just woken up. It's like 7 in the morning. I slept so well, by the way, in this bed. It's so comfortable. Look how large this thing is, bro. I can only fit like three, four people. It's so comfortable. So many pillows. Like, ah. As you saw, the sunrise was amazing. I have the best view of the city. I mean, that's like a crazy view, literally every building in sight so we are going to get up soon get ready probably eat some breakfast and then check out so we only have a few hours left let's make the most of it bro what the hell 
Look at that on the table. Anyway, let's find what we can eat for breakfast. All right, so we do go here in room dining. All right, here is what you can order for breakfast. Pretty good selection. All right, so as you can see, guys, check out how amazing this freaking view is, bro, and the sunrise and everything. Your boy's just woken up, as I already said, like eight times, but I got some even water right here, which I've gone through like four, but you gotta stay hydrated, you know? So cheers, this is actually sparkling water, the best water to drink. Hey guys, like the ASMR? This is why I love traveling. I mean, look at this, guys. You can create these crazy experiences. Like, even just seeing this beautiful view of the city just makes me so happy. Like, I love it so much. And this hotel room is fantastic. I think I will skip on breakfast, unfortunately, because it's just overpriced. And I'd rather eat somewhere else for a cheaper price with better food, fortunately. So you guys aren't going to be able to see that. But... It's okay, you know, we're gonna chill now. <laughs> and we still got a couple hours till we check out. It's like only eight now, and I'm probably gonna take a shower soon. So, let's go. All right, guys, <clears throat> so it is currently 10 a.m. I have one hour before I have to check out. So that means it's time to unfortunately take a shower and sort of get ready. I really don't want to leave this hotel room, but as they say, all good times come to an end. So I'm going to get in this beautiful shower now with all my amenities right here, which actually we have a nice shower cap. <clears throat> Maybe I should put this on. By the way, if you hear my voice, I do slightly have a cold. So, all right, be honest. Do you think I look good? Ooh, stylish. See, this is the kind of amenities I have at the Fairmont. Like, this is what I what I want to see at the Fairmont. Fucking air, shower, champagne, caviar, Rolls Royce, Bugatti. No, I'm just kidding. Then we have also shoe mitten. I don't know what this is, but I don't know what this is. A mini towel for your face or whatever you like to use it for. We're going to get this shower going. Let me do my happy dance first. Kidding. All right. I'm in San Francisco at the Hotel Fairmont Rolls Royce. Kidding, but I'm actually gonna take a shower now. Let's go. I'm gonna be giving you guys my final review of this hotel and tell you guys if you should stay here in 2024. Now, let's start with the room. First thing we're starting off with is the closet. This closet is the largest closet I have ever seen in any hotel room. I mean, you could literally fit your entire wardrobe in this thing. You could even sleep in it. You could even eat in it. It's crazy. It has everything you need. It has a safe. It has hangers, of course. It has an iron board. It has an umbrella when it rains, which it never does. Well, it did yesterday. This is something I really, really appreciate is all the space to store everything. All right, so next we're going to discuss the bedroom here. As you can see, first, we're going to be talking about these two kind of half sofas that look really nice. The design is very elegant. I really appreciate this, and I think it's perfect for eating your breakfast drinking your coffee, whatever you like to do, get views of the skyline behind me, and there's a nice painting above. I think it's just a really, really cool place. And then next to that, you do have your bed, which, oh my god, this bed is like a cloud, man. I fell asleep so quickly in this bed. Everything from the bedding to the pillows, super fine quality, super high quality, super plush. I really, really appreciate this. This is very important because, as we know, sleep is like the most important thing. You do have your desk. This is perfect for working super large. You have your outlets. You can charge your devices. You have your tablet. You can order food, check out what there is to do. And then you also have your very comfortable seat, which I really appreciate. It can make your working experience 10 times better. You have a light in case you need to look at some special documents. To the left of that, you do have your TV. And of course, underneath that, you do have your coffee machine, tea, water, all at an extra charge. Coffee, I'm pretty sure it's free tea is free so i wouldn't recommend just paying for that unless you absolutely need to underneath that you do have your mini fridge with all your alcoholic beverages all your sodas all your juices champagne unfortunately that is overpriced i cannot even drink alcohol that's not even for me i think this bedroom is super spacious that's something i love is the space and you have this amazing window right here that you can check out the beautiful view of the skyline i mean this is probably one of the best views i've ever seen i know i keep saying it but just look at this look at this it's very elegant as i said you have your paintings and it's like old and modern at the same time it's really really cool it's like a really cool crossover and now let's talk about about, of course, the bathroom. So the bathroom is pretty small. And something I do look for in hotel rooms is I personally like a deep soaking tub. I think that's something that 
looks really nice and this hotel room does not have it however the bathroom feels like a mini spa with all the am amenities you have you have your con swabs you have your ear cleaners you have your body lotion towels soap i appreciate the marble design on the sink i really like that round design <clears throat> and then you do just have your typical bathtub typical shower you know this room i think is a hundred percent worth the price i mean i paid 193 and then plus a 44 dollar resort fee so 250 and i did get upgraded because i just asked for an upgrade so that was amazing and it got me this room which i would 100 percent recommend staying at this hotel in this room just be careful with what you purchase and maybe go out to another restaurant to eat dinner unfortunately it is time for me to say goodbye to this fantastic view I, I gotta go check out before i get charged with a penalty fee for me and the entire view like thank you for watching and that's weird i'll see you in the next one peace